Here is the new Hide hose valve at long last. It has a very nice feel to the door and a beautiful magnetic closure. The door seal is tapered and it really gives a perfect leak proof seal. It supports both socked and non-socked hoses. The lock you pull to actuate and push to release. The switch is right in front as it was before and the system will automatically turn off and unlock when you close the door. Very nice design. All moving parts can be accessed from the front so you don't have to take the valve box out of the wall to do any service. It's all right here with no tools to remove. And for the installer, the valve box mounts to the side of the stud, not the face of the stud, eliminating any bowing on the drywall. Very, very nice product. Here's the new chameleon valve. The valve body is the same, but they have given us a wonderful new lock that locks and seals on the hose in an intermediate position. Anywhere along the hose, if you flip from unlocked to locked, now that hose won't go back in and you won't have an air leak as with the previous intermediate seal methods. The switch also has been revised and I like this very very much also. The old switch was in an awkward location because the hose needed to be able to turn the switch off when it was fully retracted. Now you turn it on here still turns off just like that. Also just like before, when you go all the way to the end of the hose, it locks automatically. Every chameleon is fully upgradable, so the guts can be changed out from the original version to the upgraded version. Kudos to both HP Products and Hyda Hose for all the development work that they've done for their respective product lines. I don't know what a kudo is, and I don't know how many kudos each company should get, but they deserve our thanks. The Chameleon and the Hyda Hose 6000 both use a rough-in box design, and this is different from the HS5000 Hyda Hose that used a rough-in frame and left the inside of the wall open, and the box was contained in the, the trim. I like the box design. Uh, I think it's good to protect your installation from uh, spray foam or other contamination that would that would cause you problems inside the wall cavity. Uh, the chameleon box is a front stud mount and it comes with a uh, plug installed to seal the piping off and it also comes with the plaster guard installed so you would take this off for a retrofit or when you're ready to trim the system. And for a retrofit, you break these tabs off. The Hyda hose uses a side stud mount. You can see the holes, two on the left side, two on the right side, which is kind of nice because it eliminates any concern about the this flange causing a, causing a bow in the drywall. There are locator tabs, which I've bent down here because we are actually uh, using this for a retrofit. And there is a stabilizing bar that you place on the back of the Hyda hose for new construction. Snaps in and then you have an attachment point at the front and an attachment point at the back to prevent flexing. So nice rigid box mount. Of course in a retrofit, as with a traditional central vacuum or an electrical outlet, etc. speakers, the sandwiching of the drywall between the rough-in and the finished door is what actually secures this. So oftentimes your, your stud mount is really just to make sure this is in the right place and the securement occurs when the trim is put on. When you rough in the Hyda hose, you'll bring your control wire, your low voltage wire through this hole and you'll coil it up and just put it inside here and put your plaster guard on. The Chameleon has its switch wires 
extending out the valve body. And so you do have to have a splice inside the wall where it's not accessible. And this has always bugged me a little bit, but I've never had an issue with it. You'll never have an issue with it if, if you're doing your termination properly. But there is the part of me that's very pleased that you bring your wires directly out through here and then you crimp them onto the switch. And that means that that wire connection is forever serviceable. Both of these use uh, brass threaded inserts, so there's no uh, screwing into the plastic, which is nice. Of course, that new chameleon switch is a nice mechanism. The switch on the hide hose is contained in the door where it's nice and not front and center, front and side, let's say. Um, but easy to get to, easy to understand. Here's how you turn it on and then closing the door turns it off. Another nice thing about the hide hose closing the door also either prevents you from leaving this in the lock position or it will actually push it to be unlocked. The hide hose box has to be sealed. So a door gasket is included and if you want to extend this you have uh, stackable spacer gaskets that make sure that this remains a sealed enclosure. The chameleon sealing is done by the end of the hose seating against this ball which means the box doesn't have to be sealed and it's not sealed. This door is purely cosmetic but Whoops. That means that even though the, uh, the chameleon was the, or is the biggest promoter of being able to use the retractable hose elsewhere in the house with traditional valves, to do that with the chameleon, you must order and install a separate flat piece called the cam port, and then you close that against this surface because closing the door will not seal the valve body. So interestingly enough, even though Hide Hose never really promoted the use of a uh, the use of the retractable hose elsewhere in the system as a hybrid system, this would allow you to do that more readily because the box seals itself up. Nice new locking mechanism, which is removable and serviceable without tools. I'm not going to go too far into this because then I'll have to get it back together on camera. But it's cool to see that they have designed that serviceability into this. And So again, now the chameleon and the hide hose both use the magnetic closure, which provides a very, very satisfying tactile sensation. Hide hose incorporates a QR code on the door, which links to uh, an instruction video showing you how to use it. And with the chameleon door trim, you are provided a similar a decal for an instructional video and decals to show whether this is locked or unlocked depending on whether your valve is installed up here switch height or down near the floor outlet height and that's what they're talking about because of course the the lock lever would be inverted closer look at how that works. So of course, uh, the chameleon retains the original chameleon concept of the hose locking automatically when you pull it to the end, but your intermediate lock works by driving the lock into the hose, gripping through the cover, if one is present, uh, to the hose material itself, and then driving it back out of the way. 
which is a slightly more complicated mechanism, but it gets away from the um, the fatigue and the aging of the rubber membrane on the Hida hose that does that squeezing. Uh, on the Hida hose, that rubber uh, squeezy bit, to use the technical term, is now made of a, a higher tech material, acetal, I believe, and that's supposed to uh, be a longer wearing and and uh, better functioning material. And if I'm not mistaken, the door gasket is also of that same material. And I have to say from, from testing, that door does seal perfectly. So they've both, uh, I think, hit it out of the park. I'm having a hard time really choosing one versus the other. Both uh, have fixed the objections that people had to their respective products. And at this point, it's a question of uh, what you prefer, which one you have a local dealer for, and um, and where am I going with this? And happy vacuuming. <laughs> Thanks for watching.